generic greetings and welcome back once again to Railroads today's beverages. A nice cup of green tea. So in the previous video of Railroads, we were once again attempting a challenge, and that was the Floor is Lava challenge, which is quite prohibitive when you're building a railroad because typically it goes on the ground. So we had to avoid that and work around that as best we could, and we did that via tunneling, uh, bridges, trestles, and mainly going on the water. Obviously, we did have to go onto the land eventually to go into the town, cities, and industries, but overall it was successful and uh, quite an interesting challenge. We now have another one, and this is actually an amalgamation from several comments on the previous video and that is the go big or go, ho uh, go home challenge which means that we have to have the cars and the train as long as it can be so in this game it's eight cars long um, along with the locomotive and it cannot go less than that so we can't split the train we can't rebuild it or anything once it's built it stays that size not only that but it can only carry one type of cargo so it can't have like a uh a hybrid of say like half passengers half mail or half tin goods and oil or something like that it has to be 100% the same cargo and that means that once we've set it up we then can't touch it because it's just going to go from one location to the other and that's how it'll be which means these are going to be heavy they're going to be slow and it means we're going to have to have a lot of track because normally where we'd get around uh, say uh, with one train like say yeah, five passengers two mail one one goods or something we can only now have one of like eight passengers eight mail and then eight goods so this is going to be quite difficult i think we're going to try the southwest usa map because it's one of my favorites and we haven't played on in quite some time starting year and difficulty is all default and we'll click ok and see how long it takes for us to fail this thing so we're just going to pause it for a moment and check where we are we are currently in bullhead city which looks like has a refinery yes it does and that is good because there's oil over there there's oil up there and then there's oil over here uh, actually no it's uh, over here there there is there that's fine so we have ourselves we have jay gould jim fisk and jay cook um let's have a quick look around to see where people are i'm guessing in los angeles because there's normally someone starts there gonna go down here and yes we do have someone there that is jim fisk currently at la and then down here to san diego we have jay cook so we're just looking out for the fourth person including myself obviously um cannot find them i'm guessing up here then and no, no, no. Uh, that's ourselves. Huh. I wonder where they are. I might have missed them while going around. Anyway, it doesn't really concern us at this stage. What does concern us is connecting over to Las Vegas eventually because there's no point uh, in doing that at the moment. And mainly, though, connecting up to that drilling uh, company there. So we are going to unpause it. We are going to expand these and preemptively sell some stock. And we are going to start an auction on that refinery because we know for a fact that we're going to use that. So we're going to go over here. It does say steep uphill. I'm going to actually change it so it is uh, gentle gentle uphill then we're going to go over to here and then reduce that down just so it changes to moderate uh, actually can we go gentle yeah gentle uphill which can go there and that'll be our uh, refinery station we will then place the uh, station there and we max this out to the max number of cars one two three four five six seven eight oil goes to there we cannot uh, deconstruct it and we can't break the train up and then there we go and it goes back so we now have a refinery. Looks like nobody else is bidding on it, which is excellent. And now we're also going to transport the oil from there down to here. Actually, what I should probably do is set that up so that on the first part it waits until full because quite frankly it's uh, worth doing at this stage right so that is one of them set up let me just click on that refinery once again and we can see that we have some oil over here and then we have some oil over to the right as well we also have the las vegas gold uh, dredging company in Las Vegas, we have also a refinery, so yeah, that's a dodgy one. So there's nowhere else really we can go, although this is pretty good. In Blythe, you can see we got, we've got, what have we got? A stockyard and a smelter. That's not too bad. Hmm. I'm going to speed up to max speed, and I'm just worried about getting over to the next bit of oil. I'm going to double track it to there and then I'm going to run this all the way through to Las Vegas. That is no grid to there and then it'll go along uh, to there. That is Mayor of Blythe, Solicitor's Railway, Cash Incentive Offered for the first line to deliver four carloads of livestock. So if we click on Blythe, because it's just 
down south from us we can see that livestock is over here so that might be something we can go for because nobody else is uh, around it really although it's fairly equidistant from uh, well between ourselves and uh, the people at las vegas there but anyway you can see we went over to Las Vegas and we are going to continue on over to this oil field here and that's a gentle downhill apparently but we're going to place it there and we should just be able to fit that in, yes we can uh, we will preemptively place that station there and we have a new speed record of 39 miles an hour near San Diego crossing by Jim Fisk in the 444 American so from here we will then fill that up with the maximum amount of oil it will go to there and then it will come back and that's it, we can't, <laughs> ideally what I would do if we were playing this properly it would go from here down to um, Bullhead City, drop off the oil, take those goods back over to Las Vegas and then back. But we're not doing that because that is not the challenge. Let me know then a maximum uh, a maximum uh, track that out and double track it to here because I want at least two extra things from Las Vegas. Uh, ideally we want four though, don't we? We want four trains. We want uh, one Actually, no, we don't want four. We want three. We want passengers, mail, and goods. Um, it's unreasonable to say that we can then connect that to there. I don't think that's going to happen. But anyway, you can see that we now have the... I don't know if it's a first or second, but we have a train coming down from the Las Vegas Trilling Inc. And that's going to drop off all of that. Not only do we get a nice big bone, a uh, nice big sort of 20 grand for each one of those, we also gain uh, some for the refinery that we own excellent there is a new locomotive that is campbell announces new engine the 260 mogul night train very nice so from here we're going to double track and this is where it gets difficult because we can select there and we can actually go through it has allowed us to put those together it doesn't actually connect the bridges which is a bit of a shame because well the games from 2004 i think so yeah <laughs> there are a couple of games um where if you go across it does have a double track but you can't uh, with, with a bridge but it doesn't it doesn't go any uh, further than that i think it's railway empire that does that anyway there is our uh, second or oh, sorry our first uh, carload of uh, oil from over on the uh, right there let's double track this up to las vegas and we'll double track it to about there obviously we will uh, connect that up like so and that's now done that's half the cost for building tunnels and that might be useful that might be useful for us. I'm going to... Got a sweet tooth? Join the club. Great prices jump as folks in, uh, embrace fruit. Excellent. Let's go to wait until full with the goods there and go back. And then it's just going to go back and forward. Um, do you know what might be better? What might be better is if, instead of going all the way through to there, what we'll do is we'll buy out that refinery which currently is quite cheap because there's nobody uh nobody taking any goods to it but we'll buy this out this train will then go to there and that'll start producing the goods and this goods train that's going back and forward will take goods from both sides bullhead city currently doesn't require goods because it's just gone into a town but it will eventually so it's important that we set that up this one i uh, will say Modify the train's cargo. I'm going to delete that. It's going to go there instead. Back and forward. Job done. And, whoa, it's completely glitched out because of... Oh, no, it's managed to <laughs> managed to do that um, fairly successfully. Right, so from here, we want to have a total of um, well, all the people we can, all the passengers. We'll then have another one, which is going to be all male, and then to there, obviously not full or anything. And then once again, what we need to do is double track this thing. Why can't we double track? Double track, and there we go. And we'll double track all the way across. It will cost us... A a fair amount of money we are aware of this so that is fine i'm going to double track to there i'm going to actually sell some shares just so i can get that built there we go that is now in so we now have a total of three trains going to this place here um the disadvantage is that i don't think yeah these can't actually go like on the other side because we haven't got it set up to do that so i'm going to put it to normal speed and i'm actually going to double track it again to there all right we'll then connect that one up to there we'll then connect this one to there and then what we'll do is have probably just as it comes out here 
This is going to be quite difficult to fit in, but we'll see if we can do it. We'll have like little points that go from one side to the other, which means that the trains can then switch tracks if necessary. It's not ideal because of the distances between them, but that's what we've gone with. We will then upgrade that to a station and then over to a terminal. I will buy back some of my stock because I think that's quite useful. So yes, we currently have uh, three trains now going from Las between Las Vegas and Bullhead City. We have passengers, we have mail, and as you can see now that is working, and we have the goods as well. Now Bullhead City is supplying goods, it is however not... Um, it is not taking them just yet. I'm going to say not wait until full. We'll go back and forward now. But eventually once this grows, which it will now, uh, it should be all right. So I'm going to go over to Blythe because I think that is a decent call. In this case, what we'll do is go... Uh, to be honest, we can just go straight across if we if we wanted to. The problem with that is it's also going to cost a lot of money. But I think we're about to get a fair amount of money. <laughs> we're making the track as straight as we possibly can. I'm just trying to alter it. So it uh, changes that to a uh, nice bridge like that. There we go. I do prefer the, the brick ones rather than the big uh, viaducts. Um, and then we'll place that in there. That was actually one of the uh, suggestions for... Uh for a challenge as well and that was to do <laughs> that was to do um, only straight line track and then just do 90 degree bends at uh, every opportunity I did think about doing that oh, there was also uh, the underground one but sadly, uh, which is basically build tunnels everywhere, sadly the lowest the track can go is actually the water level, so if we say come from here and even if we maximum, just hit as much as we can down, it says steep downhill and that as far as it goes because it can't go below this water level because I wanted to actually tunnel under the water because I thought it would be quite cool but um, alas you cannot anyway from Blythe we will get ourselves the ooh, what do we want do we want the stockyard first the stockyard uh, there's two stockyards and then there's the mining company which I'm going to connect up to here um, I think what I'll do is connect up the smelter first because it is quite cheap straight away Jay Gould and Jim Fisk are bidding on it which is something I wouldn't have expected although to be fair to be fair, it is a decent call. I'll put up to max speed here just because the game tends to last quite a long time if you don't do that anyway. Oh, right, I'm going to pay well over the odds for this. I mean, I don't think there's any danger of me not buying it. There we go, we've bought it. But yeah, I didn't really want to pay that amount, certainly. So we're going to double track. There's a new train. I didn't see what it was, but there's a new train there. Um, what was it? What? It was um, the 46010 wheeler. It's um green. Right, so there's the track going in there, which is interesting because it has the platform there and there. It's like different ways. Okay, so we want to have that eventually double track to there. Like that. Because that'll have passengers and mail going between them, you see. And there's the goods being delivered. And is that not delivering goods? Is it just going back and forward? Hang on. Uh, why is it not doing that? Is it because they're both being supplied? See, they both have demand. So that should be uh, stopping off. There we go, that's stopping off now. Oh, because Bullhead City's just grown, that's why. So now we'll load them goods. And then go to Las Vegas drop them off as it should do just keep an eye on here yeah it's working now okay that's fine right so from Blythe once again we will double track like I say it's uh, sort of preemptively building this um, that should now connect up to there and then we will once again double track to there this time however that won't actually work because we need to upgrade that to a terminal we will then, from this section, um, spur off like so, and then we're going to go straight straight away. Well, firstly, we're going to go over to here, and that says moderate downhill, strangely gentle downhill, gentle downhill, no grade to there. And job fast cast grim government wands, manufactured goods, <sighs> falter. So, you know the thing we've got like loads of money in? Uh, yeah, they're not going to work anymore. So we're going to max out the mining company, go over to there, which it won't connect up to. That's a problem. Okay, I'm guessing it's simply because of where I placed it. Is that that should now be a it should now be in the station. Yeah, that's fine. 
and there we are. So that's going from the mining company over to there. We will also do something similar, but in this case, what we'll have to do is try and come off from there, which we can do actually. I'm not actually technically. Uh, I'm not double tracking anything here. Um, that can go through there, and then through there and to there. Cattle companies. Uh, railroad mastermind creates industrial empire. English and French empires expect to send emissaries. Huh. Gain five million, apparently. Oh, cool. Uh, so, from this location here, what I want to do is I actually want to double track along. The reason for that is I want to be able to go past with the other engine, that's all. That's a 25% delivery bonus for perishables. I am going to go for that simply because we're about to transport loads of perishables. So, it is worth me doing that. I'm also going to start buying that stockyard. Notice that the stockyard's only 72 grand now. Originally, when we uh, looked at it earlier, it was, um, I think, nearly, nearly, I think it was 90 odd. And again, we are going to pay the odds. Uh, Jim Fisk's new record with the 46010 wheeler, 45 miles an hour. And yeah, we are definitely going to pay over the odds here. It looks like Jay Cook has sold, uh, he's only owns 30% of his stock. Jim Fisk up to 40% and Jay Gould on the loss on 20%. We're on 50%, so that's fine. But I have paid well over the odds for this for this industry. But now, hopefully, we can go from there. Max that out. I'll then say wait until full this time. Go there and then come back. The reason I'm waiting until full is because it is being taken from there. And because of how these are connected, obviously, they use the single line. If I had them both gone back and forward... That size, it would be very inefficient. Even though they will be waiting here for quite some time, it means they're not going to be blocking each other's uh, routes. So there we go. Right, so we have that all connected up. We don't have the ability to switch between the tracks, which I am going to now resolve by doing that. And there we go, that is now fine. These ones are set up as is. And we now want to see if we can get that gold over here. And it is possible... I just don't know. I just don't know if what's the best way of going about it. And why is that? I did. I did say wait until full, did I? Yes, I did say wait until full, and it's certainly not full. It's certainly not full, so I don't know why it's going there. Oh, because there's a challenge, so I think the game has just went, ah, no problem. Anyway, from Blythe, you can see we have uh, some gold now, and gold can be transported over to Bullhead City, so we're going to do that. So we'll go from there. Say, uh, oh, hang on, sorry, uh, gold. I'm not going to say wait until full, go back and forward. There we go. Eventually, this city will um, go quite large. There is, in Barstow, food plant, which... Obviously, things like this, uh, Bullhead City requires food, but the nearest food source is miles away over other people's track. So, quite frankly, I can't be bothered. Um, we also have wine down here as well, and I'm surprising that nobody's went into Los Angeles, or from Los Angeles, and got that. That's very interesting indeed. I'm going to buy some more wine on stock, because, quite frankly, we have a lot of money, so it would be worth it. Oh, there we go. We've got the uh, the bullion train going on. I think that is one of the most expensive things you can carry here. It was like 40-odd uh, there, and you, you might be able to see if I just uh, slow the game down a little bit. On these, they actually have armed guards as well, protecting all of that gold, which I think is quite good. There we go. So that's going back and forward. Ah, um, Mayor of Barso solicits railway. Fair enough. We now have mail and uh, passengers here. There we go. So we're going to set that up. So we'll say from there, we want loads of people. Go down to there and back. And then once again, same thing. It's going to be full of that. And then back over there. And then job done. And then finally, one more, which will be all food. And then go to there. And then once again, done. That is obviously quite problematic because we have a lot of uh, trains on here now. In fact, we have so many that we are having to wait for this stuff to go back. And that's not going to be able to move, is it? If I do that, though, it might work. Yeah, they're going to go through each other. If this was on the uh, highest routing difficulty, this would this challenge would just not be possible, quite frankly. just wouldn't work. just wouldn't work. Now, what I'm going to do is that. And there's another engine, just as I happen to uh, mess around there. Okay, so Baldwin announces a new engine, the 280 Consolidation. It's teal-coloured. 
cool. That, that's a nightmare to clean. Um, right, so we have one and a half million, enough to buy a lot of people's stock, so I'm going to do just that. I might as well start to buy out uh, as much stock as I possibly can. Because we have so much gold, it uh, is working out very, very nicely indeed. Obviously, transporting that is good. Uh, need donation? Ask local multi-millionaire. Railroad mogul named most successful person southwest. We have managed to get... Yes. <laughs> The final one, which is a mass 10 million net worth, and we've done that before we even completed the first one. We're not going for a victory condition win. We are going for, quite simply, a buyout win, which I am uh, doing quite good there. Oh, there we go. There's Birkinshaw Malleable Rails Patent. So I'm going to get that one. I think the Malleable Rails Patent... Oh, local wine prices plummet. Well, we don't have any money in that, so I don't care. Um, yeah, I think the Malleable Rails paint, uh, patent is one of the best in the game. 25% cheaper to build rails for 10 years is great. The other one is uh, reduction cost on... Uh, reduction cost for the train... I think it's for train uh, maintenance. Nah, I didn't think that was going to work. All I was trying to do was connect these two up, but I think because of the way they are set up, it's just not going to happen. Um, and then the problem is I have to try and delete that section now. No, when there's trains in, I'm not going to be able to do it. There we go. Delete that little section there. They're just waiting to go. Then that's going that way. Then they can come that way. And yeah, it's, it seems to be working okay. Ah, we have... Who's this? This is Jay Gould, who's uh, coming in here. They've just turned up and started... They're actually transporting gold over there which is just totally fine with me right so i think what we'll do is from las vegas we'll see what else is around and sort of connect up we do have the oil over there and we have the uh, gold there getting that gold is going to be a bit of a nightmare so what i'm going to do is go from here spur it off and then it's going to have to go up here <laughs> so we're going to get this uh, fairly big hill and oh i like that that wooden trestle is very nice if you're quite good. So from there, this is once again ore. Wait until full. Go back. Well, hang on. Hang on. Yes, fine there. Yes, it's fine. I could go to Bullhead City, but I think it's uh, best on where we have it now. Max that out. Obviously, it's only produced four because. Wait until full. Uh, because it. Uh... It's got nobody else that's been there, so it doesn't uh, output loads. So, Flagstaff, we can take that to Las Vegas, and I don't think that would be unreasonable. From this track, I will come up and around. We will have to tunnel and trestle and do all sorts of stuff. Uh, only 300,000 to get there. I thought would have thought with that tunnel, with all of this, it would have been a lot more. But it wasn't. So, I'll max that out, wait until full, go back, job done. I will then buy some more of Jay Gould's stock. It's because it's one of the cheapest um, that I'm buying it. In fact, it is the cheapest. There's not much in between him and Jim, but I'm trying to buy as much of their stock as I possibly can. I'm not really worried about them buying mine because we own 80% we, we of ours anyway. So look at the size of Bullhead City now. And what's that? Slaughterhouses under suspicion. Do you know what your children are eating? Um... Apparently animal, or no longer. With that slump there. Um, right, so Barstow, we do have a railway going to there. You can see it's from, from Jay Gould. So that's pretty good. Is there anywhere else we can go? We do have a winery over there. And do these demand wine? They do demand wine. I'm going to build a new industry. And that means we can now, winery, take grapes there. So from here, what I'm going to do is double track it all the way to the end. So then connect it up to there, like so. Then from here, continue on to there. Place that in. Max out on the grapes. Go back. Job done. And now we have to have... <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have to have, but we can have, if we wanted to, the uh, something going from here over to Las Vegas. The problem is, how many do we already have? How many trains do we already have? We have passengers, mail, goods, and... I 
think that's it. We can technically fit one more on. <laughs> it's unlikely that it'll work very well, but transporting wine might be might be quite good. Let me check. Wine is 28 grand. Passengers and mail, not very good. Okay. What I'm going to do then, this Las Vegas mail train here, I'm probably going to delete that. I'm going to delete the train and start again. From here, wine, there and back. Because it should be better. The problem is that obviously the mail is going to start backing up in Las Vegas. Not that that's a huge issue, you understand. Anyway, let's check to see where there are more grapes. So I'm trying to find my industry. I'll do it this way. Click on that. Oh. Wine and wine is there. Bishop Grape and Vine. Okay. Well, I could, from this point, do that. <laughs> Just a tunnel straight through the thing. Into there. Max that out. We're going to say, once again, wait until full. Go back. Buying more stock. Because we have millions. <laughs> Increased speed in tight turns. We'll go for that. I think we will go for that. Interesting that... Well, I was going to say, interesting that nobody else has bid on it. But then, there you go. They came in and did that. Just trying to buy all the stock that I can now. Looks like... Jim's come in there. I might have to sell some of my own stock. No, just got in there. Ah, apparently Jim's really wanting to get that. We do have some tight turns, which is interesting. And we also have Jay Gould coming in. A little bit of tunnelling here into Bullhead City. So, looks like the bullion train's working well. Blythe is a massive size now. It looks like there's not a great amount of issues around here. Obviously, trains are waiting, but I think I don't think they're going through each other anymore. Well, at least as regularly as they were. Uh, just trying to buy out the last remaining bit of stock. I'm going to sell a bit of mine just to buy that out. And then we now own 70% of Jay Gould. 70%. We also own 20% of Jay Cook's. And currently 30% of Jim, but that's our that's our next target, really. Look at that. So there's a train with two manufactured goods, one gold, one wine, sorry, two wine, and three passengers. We obviously can't do that. Oh, no, there we go. We've got a train uh, going through. Yeah, we obviously can't do that because that is our challenge there. There's the Yuma food plant over there. What it's what is its uh, revenue? Well, crop circles discovered corn meal prices plummet. I was going to put a cheeky bid on that just to get it off them, but quite frankly, for 400,000 generic units of currency and the market just crashing as soon as uh, <laughs> as soon as that starts. I don't think I'm too keen. Um, that's been upgraded, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Uh, that has been upgraded. Yes, it has. And we have a 462 Pacific. There we go. 80 miles an hour. Los Angeles Smelter. Again, I'm not going to put any bids on that. So. I've bought all the stock that I can. 12... 0.8 million to buy out Jay Cook, 8.1 million for Jim Fisk, sorry, 9.7 for Jim Fisk, and 4.7 for Jay. I've already got a million and a half. Someone else has bought my stock. Jay Gould's got one of my stock. I'm not too bothered about that. Um, just thinking, where else can we go? Is there any other industries around here? There's Flagstaff up there, which does have oil. And we could go over to there, to Flagstaff. And then it has people getting transported. We could then go to Phoenix. That could work. I think that could, that could work quite well, actually. So we're going to go over here. Um, this can be a bit weird, this section, just because I'm building it. Oh, I don't really like going through a tunnel like that. Because you can't change stuff very well. Okay, we'll go to there. 
Uh, we'll double track that. And then connect that up. We'll have that power plant. And he's trying to buy it off me. Yeah, he is. Do we really want to buy one of my own stock? I don't think so. I don't think we need to, do we? Okay. One can argue that uh, taking the oil and just taking it to the power plant is actually a waste of money. Uh, and in some ways it is, because you don't get any other goods off it. But, I mean, we do have to make some uh, sacrifices. There's a f another. F there's a food plant, the Phoenix food plant. Quite a expensive deal, really. This is me going into Phoenix here. And they can have it for half a million. I have no interest in that. I don't have a horse in that race. And then there's me double-tracking all the way from Flagstaff to Phoenix. And as we come out there, we'll do that. And we'll preemptively do it a third time. I mean, that's quite an expensive build there. But hopefully it's worth it's worth it. That's not going to connect up properly. That I can already tell it's not going to connect up properly. That'll connect up though. Excellent. Right. So that's done there. Um, you can see it's all kind of glitched out with the tunnel, but there's not much we can do about that. And then this one, so there, then there, and we will have from Flagstaff all the passengers we can back and forward, all the mail we can back and forward and there is food there so wait until full over to there if you want to we could then transport it over to the other side but uh, that's not going to happen so there's that now set up you can see that these are waiting until full this one on the far side on the i guess the, the northern part of it is just set for oil there's half maintenance cost on all trains that is the one we want I'll happily pay half a million for that. By the way the bidding's going, it looks like that's going to be the case. Right. None of these cheeky uh, 10k bids. We're going to go straight in for the 50k. It looks like that's put them off. <laughs> and what sort of roller coaster insert 10 generic units per fanta here is this? So, we've got who is this? This is Jim Fisk, who's going up and over. Technically has an oil well there. Comes down, and because there's I'm on one side, and Jay Gould's on the other, they've had to go right through it, and you've got this wooden trestle holding up the, uh, the track all the way through that's parted the... <laughs> it's parted the... the skyscrapers. I mean, I know the game does look, because of its age and indeed design, I know it does look a bit like a, um, like a toy box type thing. But that does just look like, <laughs> like something off a, like it, look, it does look like set dressing from a roller coaster. <laughs> so you come through that and then it goes all the way through there and then, well, even over that one. Why is it, why, is, why have they done that? Because it is just a loop. Is it a loop? It is. Comes down there, round, down, across, in, and then back over, and it loops. Oh, look at that. That's something you'd very rarely see. So when you go through um, the bits here, the, like the big uh, mountains on either side, you've got this cut that you make. They put these uh, barricades up to stop like landslides and keep it all up. There you go. Uh, looks like a new speed record set by myself. Uh, 462 Pacific, 50 miles an hour near Phoenix Point. Um... Well, we know that's going to be round here, isn't it? Coming down. Is it that one? Yeah, there. It's coming down there. Pretty much what we expected. Okay. Up to max speed once again. Um, oh, yeah. There's the... Oh, A2, A2. Makedo, I think. For 8, 60 miles an hour. Uh, so not as fast as some of the other stuff, but it'll probably do that all day. There's the uh, Las Vegas... Uh, 
neon sign thing. Every city does have its, or the, the big ones do have their own um, thing on each map. Like, uh, you get uh, the Space Needle and stuff. Uh, and there's 60 miles an hour set. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Looks like some of my stock has been bought by J. Cook. J. Gould. Still 5 million to buy them out. It's Jim Fisk I want to buy out, though, because of where they are. I'm very tempted to sell some of my stock in order to buy them. So, where can we go from here? You stop building, you stop winning. So, we have... Going over to Phoenix. This is our rails in here. Um, we do have Eloy there, which we could go straight down. The problem is this guy's rail comes straight across, so it's unlikely that I'll be able to do that. Checking out other industries, it's uh, none around there. There is food supplies there, and... That is some grid. <laughs> What's that? I mean, that looks like a 60% <laughs> incline. <laughs> yeah. Not entirely convinced that a train will get up that incline. Unless it's a um, funicular railway, which <laughs> is just, uh, you know, pretty much built to do that sort of thing. Uh, cheap wine flooding the market. I do that just as I see my... Uh, barrels of grapes coming in. Brilliant. It uh, looks like they've already now gone down to there. Um, I'm going to buy out Jay Gould. And I'm going to liquidate everything he's got. Because quite frankly, I don't want to be dealing with all of the track. So, we have now bought them out. Uh, sadly, he did not... Did he have some stock? If he had some stock, I've already got it. Um, we now have Jim Fisk and Jay Cook remaining. I don't think at this stage that there's much... We're going to see, um, I don't think there's much else we're going to see when it comes to, uh, competition. That was difficult. I've uh, managed to... New Los Angeles, Las Vegas line. Oh yeah, technically we've done that. Technically did it, even though... We won't ever connect them up, but we have we have technically got a route that could be used. We won't ever use it that way. What I'm doing here is going from Blythe to Los Angeles. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can get these grapes. Even though we've just seen the, the, the thing plummet, it really matters not to me. And we've just bought out the winery. So that's going to get maxed out. Wait until full. I cannot believe that the AI has not... Of all, it's literally just out, just outside. <laughs> it's there. Um, they went over to the other ones, I think. Yeah, interesting. Also, that livestock company, not yet been, not yet been uh, utilised. We could go over there, couldn't we? But, I mean, is there any point for that distance? Not really. Although, if we bought out Jim Fisk, we could then just spur off quickly over to there, and then uh, just spur off from that side down to Blythe. But quite frankly, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to not sell any of my shares because we're about halfway there for buying out Jim. Um, I think at this stage it's pretty much game over for them. We have, we are we are worth 41.3 million. Now 41.5 million. Now 41.6. You get the idea. Uh, 41.7 0.8 0.9 42 million, <laughs> 42 and a half million. Yeah, we are getting a lot of money. Um, the next highest is Jay Cook on 17 million, followed by Jim Fisk on 11. We have, I think without a shadow of a doubt, won this. Unless they've been saving up all that money in order to buy me out, which I have no idea what it would cost them to buy me out. It's going to cost 4 million for me to buy two remaining pieces of stock. So, um, times that. By another four. Right, yeah. Uh, it's unlike... That's probably even not. It's a lot more because it's based on the amount you have as well. Yeah, needless to say, they're not buying me out. We have enough money, or will have enough money shortly to buy out Jim Fisk. Which means then it'll just be Jay Cook. We'll probably do it in that order. But I am going to leave it there because otherwise we'd just be sitting here and waiting for that money to go up. I'm not going to be doing any more building because, quite frankly, we've been to all the places that we can. There are little side routes that we could use. Um, but because of the challenge, which is 
you know, go big or go home, eight cars long, all of the same stuff, we need high uh, capacity. So that's why we've got, at minimum, three rails going between the city because we've just got so much going through. And even then, the trains are getting stuck. You can see they're stopping here. They're not going through. This one's waiting to go. As soon as this one comes through, that'll go, and then that one's going to come through. So, yeah, they are getting stuck. We do have some trains passing through each other, but it is a rarity now, surprisingly, um, considering just how much we've uh, just how much we've built but there you are that is the biggest trestle I think I've seen apart from when you just mess around and build stuff massive for no reason um, yeah that that has been our go big or go home challenge where we have eight of the same we have done industry challenges before we have done only passengers and mail uh, we had one car one uh, locomotive challenge. We've done many different things, but as always, if you have ooh, American population on the rise, so growing families demand more beef, study says. There you are. If you have any ideas for challenges, objectives, just little quirky things, then by all means, pop them in the comments, even if you just would like to see a specific map. Uh, there is the P5A class electric. Then by all means, as I said, put them in the comments, and we will go from there. And with that, we can now buy out Jim Fisk. Bye. Liquidate. And the trestle goes. And Bullhead City goes back to normal. <laughs> but you can still see where he was. The remnants of a company. And we are now worth 45 million. J. Cook on less than half that. Hope you have enjoyed the video and these little mess arounds. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.